showing you how to um, cover your cake in whipped cream. This is how I cover mine. Let's start. I already whipped the cream. I added flavor and then gave it some color. So we start. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a top coat. So most of the time, I actually start anyhow I want. I start from the top. This is just the first coating. I start from the top. Um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of a cream for the side. So I just come like this. I chilled the cakes. I brought the cakes out of the, uh, the freezer. I use this smaller step spatula. You can use a bigger one. It's just this is what I like. I already trimmed my cakes before putting it in the freezer. I'm just going to come up here. So you just scrape the side. Now, as you're scraping, if you see any part that looks like you know it needs a little bit of filling, you just fill it up. Uh, mine doesn't really need you know filling because I already got most of it. Just, you know, feel. So I think I got most of it. So I see I still have some old hair. So I just come up here. Get the set off, scrape again. Now, because this came straight out of the freezer, I don't think I need to pop it back into the freezer. I'm just going to cover it straight. Process. The same process that I did for the compost. I'll just come to the side, making sure that my palette knife is not touching the cake. As you can see, my palette knife is not touching the cake itself. Okay, like I said, you ensure that you don't touch the cake. You know, you just keep repeating this process till every part of the cake is covered. Now that the old bottom part of the cake is covered, I move to the top and repeat the same process. Making sure that I don't touch the cake. So now, using this method, we ensure that there's no point wasting time. Let 
just make sure you don't touch the face this will you know help you ensure that there are no cons on your finished um product so just go like this like i said still not touching the cake still not touching the cake and ready so then you know you just press the sides off and just like you did the front coat if there's any part of it that looks like you know it's not properly sealed you just come to the side you know and seal it if there's any part that looks like you know it's not properly sealed you just seal it up you just seal it up you just seal it so now, if you want to leave the body of your cake smooth like this, fine. If you want to comb it, fine also. Everything is just, you know, left to you. And you know what your customer wants. You can decide how you like it. I'm going to show you how it's going to look when it's smooth. And how it will look when it's combed. So I'm just getting the excess off here. I'm just going to wipe this off, give it a nice wipe, and then come to the side. So now for the top, if you want to get the top like really you know sharp and nice, one there are ways you can do it. You can either just gently pull it in like this, or if you are scared of messing your whole cake up, when you've gotten to this stage, you know, you can just comb it, leave it like this, and then pop in the freezer for about five minutes. It all depends on you and then when it's out it will be easy to be as soft it will be easy to work with now this is how it's going to look if it's smooth but i want to comb this so i have this comb that i got i think it's a set of three or four thereabouts i got a while ago so this is what i'm going to use for this gently there's no rush you know you're not rushing just gently so now that this is done, so you can see it's nice. I'm going to pop it in the freezer for like five minutes, then I'll come and finish the top. I'll come and finish the top. I'll just pop it in the freezer for a bit. And then I'll finish the top. Let me just give it a nice comb. I'll just gently, as you can see, it's actually easier to work with now that it's you know really chilled. You just work on your sharp edge on getting a sharp and thin edge. just keep working on it as you can see compared to when I popped it into the freezer it looks way better so you can come to the sides again and just you know smooth it out you know just keep 
like this little rock. Now that the cake is ready, I'm just going to finish decorating it and show you how the finished cake looks like. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a nice comment. Thank you.